Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's get started on this fifth and final step, which is shading this land use map in Yarmouth, Massachusetts. Now, here's what the map that we're going to produce today looks like. You can, if you want, open this project yourself. So you go open and look in your folder. It's called the five step challenge and open it and up it comes. Now for the next little while, I want you to leave this map open if you wouldn't mind. I need to close the one that I have on the screen at the moment. And I'm going to open another project that's got a, a whole bunch of other maps in it that's going to help me walk you through this lesson. And it's purely formatted so I can do that fairly easily. So you'll see the menus are collapsed. See on the left, the menus will be collapsed in some places. And there's going to just be this whole bunch of layers down here. Now, don't let these confuse you. It'll become obvious while you're there. Once again, they're just there to help me explain stuff to you. I'm going to talk about maps, our land use map, and how each polygon relates to a row in a table. I'm going to talk about how each column in the table can relate to a different map theme. I am, of course, going to talk about shading our maps one map and here's another map i'm going to talk about generalizing the data how i went about converting these 21 different categories into these nine different categories why i did it and what the basis for the decisions were i'm going to talk about the changes in the map through time so this is our earliest map here's a later map and here's a later map i'll touch on the sorts of decisions you make when you're choosing a shading scheme for your maps and i'm also going to talk about how we might use other maps and other data resources to help us validate our land use map. Okay, so we can zoom in and we can look at a whole bunch of other different data sets and compare them to our land use map to, to validate it. And we'll also have a bit of a bash at time series to show us how land use can change through time. Okay, well, that's what we're in for and stick around for the nitty gritty. I'll see you soon.